We're going to do it again. Ah. Welcome to Living Strong. I'm your host, A. Prophet Johnson. Um, Colossians, body and soul. Let's do it again. Colossians chapter number two, warning against errors. It is. For I would that you knew what great conflict I have for you. And for them at Laodicea, and for Laodicea, and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh. Now, I would that you knew what great conflict I have for you. It's almost like me protecting minister and having to fight the leadership and other people all because of one little fella that, that uh, does whatever he does. So then God have to use Prophet Johnson to go and jump in the middle and say, leave him alone. I stick up for you. You know, and so we hold up the bloodstained banner. You see what I'm talking about? You, you protected everybody else. You're sticking up for somebody else. But who's sticking up for you? God is. That's why. Let me say this right quick before I go anywhere. Let me say this. And we're going to read today. Let me remind all of you, and I should have said this on the radio, but I didn't get it on the radio, but we'll get it some other time. But for those of you who have a gift, let's say, for instance, your gift is music. You can play, you're good at music. Your gift is singing. Oh, you're the best singer it is. Your gift is um, sports. Your gift is a teacher or whatever. Your gift can even be swimming. Whatever your gift is, God gave all of us a gift and a talent. So whatever your talent or your gift is, making clothes, sewing, doing hair, whatever. Here's the thing about it. Your gift is not for you. That's right. Oh, he gave gifts unto men, led captivity captive. That's right. He gave gifts unto men. <laughs> That's right. He gave them to men. God did. But your gifts are not for you. Your talents are not for you. Who are they for, Prophet Johnson? Your gift is for me. <laughs> Thank you, sir, ma'am. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Yes, your gift is. Your gift is not for you. Your gift is for me, Prophet Johnson. Your gift belongs to me, not you. <laughs> it belongs to you. You got it. I can't do nothing with it, but it belongs to me. More so than you. I don't know about that. Well, I can prove it real easy. Okay? Your gift belongs to everybody else in the world that exists with me. Your gift does not belong to you just as an individual. You are the operator of the gift. You are the possessor. You are the gatekeeper. You are the key holder of the gift. God gave it to you. But he gave it to you to do what? Serve people. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's real simple. That, and I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, Lord, God. And the Lord said, Prophet, your gift is not for you. I'm like, I know, that, I know that's right because you don't never say nothing to me about, about me anyway. But you, he said, your gift is for everybody else. See, my gift is for Cap. What, what good is it going to do me? <laughs> he needs he need way more help than I do. And I need a ton of help. But my gift is for minister. My gift is for you. Uh, not, uh, what, see, now you're happy, aren't you? I know that's right, Prophet Johnson. Praise his name. Why don't you go ahead and prophesy? Minister to me, praise his name. <laughs> you know, and I get so tickled. I done got off on the rabbit. And I get so tickled at the, at the preachers, on, at the people on TV, and those great and swelling words and those great teaching messages that can go from Scripture to Scripture to point out stuff. I can do that 24-7 with my eyes closed. Don't even have to open the Bible to do that. Y'all know that. And don't have to impress nobody with that. But it, 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 it just jars me and tickles me to death to listen to all these great and swelling teachings. I mean great and swelling words. And that don't mean nothing. 
In, in other words, it's so flat gifts. <coughs> so when God gave you your gift, he gave you your gift for the world. And uh, why do you think, uh, it's very simple, Michael Jackson, think about it. Michael Jackson's gift wasn't for him. The best dancer that there ever was, and, you know, he could get on down, you know. And, but what good would that have been if he didn't have millions of people to entertain? What would he look like in a studio dancing by himself, popping and locking? He'd look like a fool. Well, he sure would. You, what would you look like 24-7? I'm trying to show you. I don't know who this is for, but this is for somebody. Somebody's coming out. You a piano player, but 24-7, you up in a big old house playing the piano. And nobody didn't listen to you. But there's a whole lot of people out there in the world who want to hear your beautiful music. Think about LeBron James. What good is LeBron James and Dwight Howard? <laughs> I like them too because they built like Transformer robots. <laughs> what, you know, they should make movies with them guys. You know, I wish they'd make movies with them guys. But what good is those guys made out there with all the big muscles playing basketball if, if, if you and I can't watch them? So your gift is for other people. Your gift is not just for you. God gave you your gift and your talent to draw, to do poetry, art, or whatever, sing, to write. Your gift is to serve mankind. That's what your gift is for. You see, and this is what my gift is. And I've been operating in my gift ever since I was 12 years old. At 13, didn't know what I was doing, but I've been doing this. So it's not for me. What would I look like prophesying to me? Prophet Johnson, I see what the Lord, Trying to, uh, uh, Prophet Johnson, I see what the Lord is is getting ready to, to bless you. Uh, see, how, see how dumb that is? <laughs> you know what I mean? See, I've got to get a revelation from God for me. And he's got to drop something into my spirit. You know? So the thing I use my gift for is something like, Lord God, where the fish biting at? Where the fish biting at? You know? And even that don't work sometimes. Sometimes it seems like I'm listening to the devil. Don't catch nothing. Just like I did yesterday, the only thing I caught was time and almost a sunstroke. And Prophet Johnson, you went fishing 100 degrees. I'm out there fishing like a nut. So hot the fish wouldn't even bite me. They stayed on the, I don't know where them fish went. Down to the bottom of the water. That's what somebody said. Okay, we're in uh, Colossians chapter number two, and uh, we're dealing with body and soul. Verse number two, Colossians chapter number two, that their hearts might be confident being knit together in love and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding. You see, this is what he's asking for the church. Full riches of understanding, full assurance to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father and of Christ. That's where God wants you to be blessed. He wants our hearts to be knit together, body and soul. I'm going to get happy in a minute. In whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Now, when I get this little piece of ginger out of my mouth, I'm going to be okay. But I want to read that again, okay? So that we'll catch up. Let's read it real fast and catch up. For I would that you knew what great conflict. I, I, I want you to know what we done went through. I have for you and for them at Laodicea and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh. You haven't seen me, but you've heard me. Okay? That their hearts might be confident. That's the main goal. We're going to comfort your heart, body and soul, 
being knit together in love. This is what's going to get it. With love and kindness have I drawn thee in unto all riches, all riches. I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. See, why did he say all riches? God don't want to leave nothing out of the full assurance of understanding. So you can have a full assurance, but your full assurance is going to be like a vault. It's going to be like a bank. It's rich. So you're rich with assurance. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. If they take up any deadly thing, it shall not harm them. You see, this is the power of, hey, shot, of God's word. This is the power of his word that stands relevant today. And he said, they've tried to kill my word. Prophet, get on off, get on off, get on off. He said, they tried to kill my word. And he said, they've tried to destroy my revelation. And he said that they've tried to put down and to fold down the benefit of my time. But the Lord said that thou knowest and thou tellest it. He said, surely broken in bones, the awakening hour is upon mankind. Uh -huh. And he said, I'm going to let them toy mm -hmm, with me. Go ahead, Jesus. He said, I'm going to let them play uh -huh, with me. Uh -huh. He said, I'm going to let them dance with me. He said, I'm going to let them lie with me. And I'm going to let them cheating still with me up. Oh, Lord. Uh, uh, but when it's all said and done, said the Lord, I, I'm coming back at the church uh, 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 without spot or wrinkle or blemish. I'm telling you now, said the Lord, I, I, get your house in order. I, I, time is I, winding up. I'm, the day Day is short. Uh, I'm calling my people out of the field, uh, and it's time to come on home. Uh, it's time for the Lord uh, uh, to get on back. No matter what you got to do, uh, no matter what you got to sacrifice, uh, and no matter what you got to give up, uh, the Lord said it's time to let it go. Uh, you got a window of time. Uh, I'm pleading with my people uh, to keep. King is coming soon. Oh, Lord, don't be caught with your work undone. The king is coming. Body and soul. He's coming. He's coming. To the acknowledgement, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. To the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father, he's coming. And of Christ, the acknowledgement of the Godhead in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. It, we don't want that. We, we don't want no hidden treasure of wisdom and knowledge. How many people pray, Lord, show me the treasures of hidden knowledge and wisdom? No. God, show me the treasure of where the money hid at. Uh, show me the treasure of how I can go and get over on somebody else. See, where your heart is, that's where your treasure is. And what, 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 you're not going to ask God, Lord, Lord, open up your treasures and give me wisdom and give me understanding. The prophet Johnson, did you do it? You better believe it. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. First scripture God ever gave me. 
because he knew I was afraid of him. What happened? I got tired of God following me. I couldn't go nowhere except God was following me. And I got tired of him. I told the Lord, I said, I want you to stop following me everywhere. I can't go nowhere. Well, how do you know he's following Prophet Joshua? <laughs> Shucks. Y'all have no idea. I done cried. I done cried today here. I done cried, and at the same time, I done cried, I done laughed, I laughed and cried at the same time. Y'all have no idea. He'll he, he tell you stuff before you get there. And then when you get there, Jesus said, didn't I tell you? I said, you need to quit following me. And then after he quit following me, I got in trouble. I went and I started following him. <laughs> that sounds about like us, isn't it? Oh, God, God, I tell you what, this, this is really heavy on me. In whom we are hid, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. In this, oh God, y'all please hear this. Please, verse number four, y'all hear me? I be crying out to y'all. Many of y'all, y'all see me. Y'all know me from the radio, from 190 plus countries and county. I don't know you from, as they would say, from Adam, you know, but I know you by the spirit. I may not know your faces or your name, but I can feel y'all by your spirits. People, Captain, I ain't never heard this. I ain't never heard this. But I'm going to say it. The people just say it, prophet, because it's not you. People, you need to sow a wartime seed. A seed of war. Many are continuing with the $120 seed. Sister Lucy, she's faithful, paying tithe others. I want to make mention also of a young lady in the um, Georgia area, Sister Kim. You've been a blessing, and you was a blessing, and you are a blessing. And you, one that God dropped into my spirit to let you know that your labor is not in vain. You think that you just gave because you owed God. No. You sowed a seed in obedience. Even when it comes down to tithe. And this is for your protection. But God said, not only you, but this is for the protection and the healing of your family. You continue to wait, to be patient, because the one in blue is going to show up for you. And I'm not talking about the police. Not the men in black, the man in blue. Sit back and watch God. You'll see. Here it comes. You obeyed. Now watch God move. Thought Prophet John forgot about y'all, I hadn't forgot about none of you. None of you. Okay? And that's all there is to it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still having to just pull myself together here. <coughs> because it, <coughs> it's happening. It's just happening everywhere. Um, verse number four is where I wanted to get to, and I stopped and I started cracking up. Uh, whatever. In this I say, Look, 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 in whom in whom all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, we're in Colossians. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing word. You hear that word? This is where I get that from. In case you wonder where Prophet Johnson get that great and swelling words from right here. Lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. This is the part that I want to warn you about. Verse number four is real easy. It happens every single day, every day. Every single day this happens. The reason why verse number four is so important is because I must say for me an example, I must use me again as an example. I was a gullible, foolish, begildable man by all that basically came into my life. In other words, I believed their words. 
So they beguiled me as Satan beguiled Eve, which means they deceived her. So they deceived me into making me think that they cared or loved me. So when it comes down to people, folks, let me show y'all something. I don't know how I'm going to get this out to y'all. Folks are something else. You have got to watch projective thought process of others entering into your life. I get so sick of it. I hate it. I'm going to show you how it works now. Show you how projective thought process works. The enemy uses this to destroy people every single day of their lives, and they never pay no attention. They never pay no attention. I'm going to show you how it works. You're sitting at home. You're not bothering nobody. Okay? There's another person somewhere else. The other person is thinking about how they are going to undermine, manipulate, control, and seduce your life on big notice that they are being used by Satan to do so. So they don't know that they're being used by Satan. So what they'll do, here it comes, here it comes now, let me show how it works. Dinner the ring, dinner the ring. That's your telephone. I call it doodle ring. Dinner the ring, dinner the ring. Hello, is it me you're looking for? The answer is yes. So doodle the ring call you. Now, your life is blank. Nothing but you and God, space and time. Do the Doreen call you, and let's give it a good day here. Let's give it a Thursday. It's on a Thursday. And do the Doreen say to you, child, you know they got this special going on on the weekend. And uh, they, they got a bargain shop opening. They got a swamp, flea market sale, or whatever. Whatever it is you like to do. Or they like to do. And you too. And so you say, okay, uh, do the ring. Yeah, uh, I ain't. Lord, child, uh, Jesus ain't. I ain't hardly doing nothing. Yeah, we'll go check it out. We'll do this. You get up Friday and you get up Saturday. You just gave all of your power to do the do ring. That's right. Beguiled. You didn't even know it. People do it all the time. See, let me show you how it works. You know, we're going to be doing so and so, so and so on so and so, so and so day, and we'd like for you to be involved. Wait a minute. I may not want to be involved. I may not want to be bothered with you. Why can't you let me? Live my life without being controlled by your witcher tree or your wallocker tree or your undermining in my life. It's basically witchcraft. We're going to have to talk about that because a lot of that is going on in the church and a lot of that's going on with people right now. Former chaos in which you get former pseudical in which you get the word pharmacy, which is pseudo, which is basically control substance through the pharmacy which appeals. Opioid, Dineral, I can't think of them other thing, Percocets, I'm trying to think of some drugs. I don't know no drugs. Uh, you, know, you, know, you, you know all about dope and whiskey and marijuana, you know all about that stuff, and Jack Daniels and and sin and gin, you know all about that. You don't have to worry about that. 
We ain't talking about that type of, that, that ain't the same drug, okay? Dope, marijuana really ain't no drug like that. You forget that. But whiskey really ain't no drug like that. You forget that. I'm talking about this, the pills things. I ain't talking about no cocaine that they're made out of powder. I ain't talking about no crack. I ain't talking about no little green leaf, okay? Little green leaf growing grow in the wood. A deer can eat that and get high. That ain't what I'm talking about. Them pills contain mind-altering forces. I didn't know it until I saw how these pills destroyed my family. I, Prophet Johnson, no, yeah, I said it. Did I say it? I said it. Didn't I say, didn't I say it? I said it. Okay? I saw how those pills got in the woman and messed the woman up and messed up her mind. Caused witchcraft to come in. Saw the pills got in the children. Got the children destroyed. You see, they didn't, they didn't give my children no second chance. The devil will not give them a second chance. Because God had to remind me. God said to me again, you don't know who you are, do you? He said, you're Prophet Johnson. He said, you can't call people and talk to people because they, if they talk to you, then they feel as though they're some god. They feel as though they're some great king or great queen because they talk to you and you need them. See, because to them, Prophet Johnson don't need nobody. To them, you got everything. You got everything you need. You got everybody. To them, to others. See, that's the way people think about me. They don't think I need nobody. No family, no nobody. Nobody to talk to, nobody. And so God had to show me that they will never respect me. If I call them or talk to them about any situation, he said, look at the ones that you tried to talk to. He said, have you heard from them? He said, but oh, they give you great and swelling words. How much they love you. He said, none of them love you and don't none of them care. So when you come down to them pills and stuff, people get, that, get, the, get away from that. Because them pills, a lot of that is nothing but basic witchcraft. That's what's messing up the mind of women, men, children out there. Them witchcraft drugs that they take it. But they don't think it is. But if you don't think so, look at where your life is. That's all there is to it. And um, it, it's a hurtful thing. It's a hurtful thing to watch your child go into the military, make E4 in less than a year and a half time, your only child, your only son that God gave you, the one you care about, love so much, and you watch that child go and perform, move to the top, about to become a sergeant in the army in less than two years, and then to see that child get kicked out of the army because of one pill and they didn't give him a second chance because of the leadership in the evil of this nation. And that's why America is paying with COVID-19. That's why the military is going to hell and I don't care no more. That's why. All because of your son, you better believe it because they did him wrong. They did him wrong. But his mother never should have gave him that pill and destroyed his life. People, you better wake up. This stuff is real. Prophet Johnson, we don't, there's a lot you don't know. A lot you don't know. You see? But you would be surprised at the people that hate the truth and will try to control your life through witchcraft. I'm closing right there. And I'm going to stop. That's a good place to stop right there. Body and soul. Don't let no man beguile you. Because that's what they're going to do. They do it to me all the time. All the time. We got to go. Will you repeat after me? It said, Father, I'm a sinner. Forgive me for my sins. And I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen.
It's going to get hot and heavy before this week is over. The best is yet to come. Body and soul is going to run deep. I just hope y'all are ready for part two because this game is on. We're going to see you guys tomorrow night. Don't forget, body and soul. Have a good night. Bye. And I was... I'm wise. I'm wise.